Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Dr. Arya's Vlogs. Today, I am going to discuss introduction to Facebook. The upper jaw in the human skull is positioned uniquely to the lower jaw. And this position is a different for every person. So it is different from one person to other. Okay. And the opening moment to bring the jaw from occlusal to rest position is almost the pure hinge moment. And the relation of maxilla to the opening and closing axis has to be determined. Coming to the history of Facebook. In 1860, the distance from the center of each condyle to the medial incisal point and the lower teeth is 10 cm. That is by Bonfield. In 1866, Backwell invented an apparatus to measure the angle formed by the occlusal plane of the teeth and a plane passing through the lines extending from the condyles to the incisal line of the lower teeth. Then Hayes in 1880, functional faceball like device intended for locating the position of cast correctly in the articulator that using articulating tape. That so, one will develop first articulator with the serious effort to initiate the movements of mandible in the eccentric positions. That is, bond okay. So, in 1854, this is the four inches. Okay. This is the bond triangle. In 1886, Francis H. Backwell, the angle formed between the plane of two lines. Drawn from the articulating surfaces of the condyles to the occlusal plane, it is estimated to be 26 degrees. So, here it is the angle formed between the plane of two lines. Okay. Drawn from articulating surfaces of the condyles to occlusal plane. This is 26 degrees. So, that is by Bachman. Okay. Next one is Richmond Hayes in 1889. That is fixed descending condylar path is incorporated. Okay. In 1890, Walker discovered a clinometer, facial clinometer. It is a new type of instrument used for determining the position of the lower caste in relation to the condylar mechanism. George K. Bigby in 1894 proposed a device that determined the distance from the midline of the anterior occlusal rims to one of the contacts. Geisy in 1895 constructed an instrument for registering the contact path. And George B. Snow in 1899 a device which became prototype for modern Facebook. That is about the history of Facebook, brief history of Facebook. Okay. Now coming to the purpose of Facebook. To record the relationship of maxillary arch to the horizontal axis of the mandibular condom. That is the purpose of a Facebook. And what are its uses? Actually, the Facebook is used when the cusp form teeth are used. Balance the occlusion in the eccentric position is desired. Interocclusal check records are used for the verification of jaw positions. When the vertical dimension of occlusion is subject to change, then balance the occlusion in complete denture and class 1 and 2 cases. Open anterior bite to or end to end relationship cases. Simple restoration on second molar, not for premolar and first molar. Segmental restoration, anterior restoration, its primary guidance, then factor in exclusive movement, restoration of anterior quadrant, diagnostic purposes and treatment plan. So these are the various uses of a Facebook. But the Facebook is not necessary under the following conditions. Which are they? If the cases are monoplane teeth, or no alterations of the occluding surface of the teeth, 
no interoclusive check records articulators that are not designed to accept a facebook transfer in these cases facebook is not necessary okay for a facebook record three points is required okay for accurate mark and the criteria for selection of points are ease of location convenience and reproducibility okay the facebook captures the relationship between the occlusal plane and the horizontal reference that is based on the planes and facebook so facebook which captures the relationship between the occlusal plane and the horizontal reference okay and the plane of orientation is the spatial plane okay this is the spatial plane which is formed by joining the anterior and posterior reference point the horizontal plane is established on the face of the patient by one anterior and two posterior points this is the one anterior and this is are the two posterior points so horizontal plane is established on the face of the patient by one anterior and two posterior points and in this picture it shows the face bow which may fit directly into the ear external artery meatus okay here it is the face bow which may fit directly into each ear's external artery meatus or else have their rods placed over an approximate location of the so called hinge axis okay This is the picture showing the bite fork, which is placed on the label aspect of the articulated back occlusal ribs and carried to the articulate. Okay, so as to facilitate the mounting of edentulous working cast on a selected acontype articulate. That's for today's lecture. In the next lecture, we will discuss about the classification of facebooks. Thanks for watching. Stay home. Stay safe.